Okay, well in today's episode of the Tennis Rackets, we're gonna be talking about a subject that happens, unfortunately, all the time in youth tennis. What are we talking about? Are we talking about... Sportsmanship? <laughs> tennis? <laughs> no, we're definitely not talking about sportsmanship. That happens occasionally. I said something that happens all the time. What are we talking about, Carla? Uh, cheating, for sure. Yes. More specifically, kids that cheat in tennis. Now, before you get mad and post angry comments and tell me that children are our future and they're all perfect little babies and angels, the truth is, for those of you that have been around the tennis circuit for a while, you know they are not perfect little babies and angels. There are, unfortunately, a fair number of kids that cheat and unfortunately, a fair number of kids that are coached to cheat by either their parent, <gasps> Scandalo, or by their parent. So oh. today, we're gonna to be talking about Terrible kids that Dave. cheat, share a couple of experiences that we've seen, and hopefully give you some things to be aware of so that if your son or daughter is starting out along the path, how to handle themselves, what to do on the court when they encounter an opponent who is has good sportsmanship. Uh, no. <laughs> oh wait, that's wrong. Wrong. Yeah, topic. wrong topic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what to do when their opponent isn't scoring properly or is calling lines out that should have been in. So, Carla, why don't you take it away and tell us a little bit about some of your experiences with kids that cheat? Well, it's unfortunate because my problem is number one with the USTA. Oh, because well, perfect. I, I, I know. No problem. Sorry. No problem. Sorry. sorry. I know. I Edit. Know. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> so you pay $45 for a local entry fee okay. for a tournament yep. and you bring your kid on Saturday morning, 8 a.m. and you're going out and the kid is playing and there's one official, one. Per, per court? N no. No. Uh, no. Per... no, I'm not talking about soccer oh. or football F -f -f or, or baseball. Okay. We know they get yeah. two. Sorry. Two. Baseball okay. gets two. Okay. One official for five, six, seven, eight courts. Yeah, that's probably not a good ratio, is it? No, that's a big problem. Okay, all right. So you're sending 12-year-olds out to play a competitive match mm -hmm. where mommy and daddy are standing on the fence. Yeah. And coaches are sitting there mm -hmm. watching. Mm -hmm. And you're asking them to call their lines and call the score mm -hmm. properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry. Kids can't handle that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yep. there's going to be cheating. There's going to be just bad judgment. Yep. So and tell us, so what What do you do? So you're a 12-year-old, you're playing, <gasps> you're getting into tournaments, <laughs> and there's a child. Some of the common techniques that we've seen, that I've seen, and oh. I haven't been to as many tournaments as you, here's a famous one, calling the score wrong. Oh, yes. When it's 30-15, you change, 15-30, you change it to 30-15, what do you do when you encounter a child who's calling the score wrong? So what we tell our kids is, listen, when there is any type of conflict on the court, you go and try to find that one official. <laughs> find them. Hopefully they're not on break. <laughs> you go to the tournament den, you go to the bathroom, you go to the snack bar. You yeah. find that right. official. Track them down. You track down that official. But at the end of the day, you need an adult on the court. You okay. need someone who can help them get the score back to where it should belongs. Okay, so someone's miscalling the score, go get an official. You have to, you, you have, have to, to go get the yep. official. And a lot of kids go and look at their parents and they look to their coaches, but yep. they can't help you. Right, it's too late, it's too late. You're playing against a shark. You, you, gotta, <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta toughen up here, okay? This child, your opponent has been coached to do this, most likely, unfortunately, but sad but true. Okay, but, so the child that miscalls the score, yes. what about the one that calls bad lines? What do you do there? Ooh, yeah, <clears throat> that's a tough one because the line calls, they've probably called three or four bad ones. Mm -hmm. So you've already lost a few points. And then when you finally decide to go find the official that's hanging out at the snack bar. Mm, yeah, gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> it's hot out there, y'all. Then you gotta go and you gotta get the official and come back, but you still lost those few points. Mm -hmm. So. So again, Try to hunt down the official. Try to hunt down that one official. Okay. It's a great, this is a, this is a great sport. Yeah, it's awesome. It's <laughs> awesome. See, yeah. Is, hopefully, you awesome. Didn't have, hopefully you didn't have to fly in to lose that match. <laughs> that's even worse. But uh, if it's a local and you could drive, that's good. Yeah. So sad but true. There are lots of kids, unfortunately, that cheat. Sometimes it's unintentional. They're not trying to be malicious. They're kids. They're learning. 
But unfortunately, you do encounter a lot of kids over the years. Those of you that have been doing this a while, you probably have 100 stories just like us um, that they do. And one of the things that I loved about tennis that it really instilled in our daughter is you got to learn to stand up for yourself. Right. So go. I think the important thing is as parents, just counsel your children if that happens, get an official. Right. Obviously, you don't want to get involved as a parent. No. It's tough. Oh. It's tough. No. Trust me. Especially when they're 16. You mm. want them to quit? Yeah. Mm. Get involved. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. That, we saw how that worked out. <laughs> but anyway, everyone, cheating in tennis, does it happen? Yes. Do kids do it? Yes. Do coaches coach their kids to do it? Sadly, yes. Do parents coach their kids to do it? Sadly, all the time. Mm. So hopefully you're not one of those parents. If you are, shame. But anywho, hopefully you like this episode. And next time we'll be talking about parents Ooh, that We're cheat. coming for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, watch out. Mm -hmm.